AI-generated art has took the world by storm in the past few months, but mostly all the text to image generators make 2D images. But now we have two new AI generators that makes 3D models from text. The first generator is called Imagine 3D. The AI is in early access right now. It's created by Luma AI Labs and they released this trailer for their new text to 3D model AI. It kinda explains itself. You write a prompt and the AI makes a 3D model, a texture 3D model for you. The materials looks like it's a diffuse texture, but there is a diffuse to material AI already, so that's already handled. Now, if you go to their website, you can see the AI is still in the alpha stage, and to access it, you can join the whitelist. But the website already offers a selection of 3D models that are made by the AI, and with that you get a search engine as well. Now if we click on one of those artworks, you can see it looks pretty good. I don't know the poly count of the generated 3D models, but you can download the model as an OBJ or GLTF, which means textures are included. I still don't have access to this, so I can try it for this video. So let's try using the search engine. Let's search for a cake. You can search for anything you want. I'm just testing the search engine. Now let's click on one of those featured characters and let's download one of them to open it with Blender and have a closer look at it and see how many polygons it has. The download is going to be a zip file that has an MLTF file and OBJ file and the textures folder. Now let's import the model to Blender. Okay, first of all, these things look like a 3D scan and the geometry is not that great. 370,000 vertices, I think that's a lot for a model like this. So if you're familiar with cleaning up 3D scans, you might fix it a little bit, but I would not think that this can be a main subject on a render. You can use the AI for creating 3D models that are in the background or that are away from the camera. Overall, I think in the future, these models are going to get better and the Imagine 3D website is going to become like a free massive library of 3D models where you can generate 3D models as well. Now the second generator is made by the people behind DAL-E, one of the most popular text to image generators and it's called Point E. And this generator creates point clouds from your text input. They also offers a tool for turning those point clouds into 3D mesh as well. Now, if you go to the OpenAI official GitHub, you can see they have the, the code of point E that you can download. So this code allow you to have a colored points cloud for your prompt. And to run this thing, you have three options. You can run it locally, which means you have to mess with Python codes and know a little bit about that, or we can use some website that allow us to run this code. The first is called the Hugging Face, where you can just write prompts and have your 3D model, because someone already created an environment on the website. But usually this don't work, since a lot of people are trying to run their prompt, and you will get an error every time you try. So the third option is to use Google Colab. If you're not familiar with Colab, someone already made a notebook for running point E and you only need to run some of these boxes and add your prompt. Then just run the other boxes and you will have the point cloud of the text you wrote. There is a notebook available to turn this into a 3D mesh on the point E GitHub so you can try that as well. So now we have two text to 3D model AIs that are published this week. This AI thing is going too fast and God knows what kind of new tools we will be getting next year. I mean few days ago I thought there was no way to create 3D models from text. Now you have two new AIs with massive libraries of 3D models. Anyway, tell me guys what do you think about these AIs? I really want to know your opinion about this, like is it going to be the future of 3D art, is it useful for you or not, just tell me what you think and maybe subscribe for the channel for more videos like this one. Anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye.